stuffed pizza crust appetizers. You know, this is filmed before the Super Bowl, so if you got a Super Bowl party, you want to make some of these, check that out. Pretty easy to make. You can put whatever you want inside. I just put leftover brisket, one pepperoni, green chili, uh, jalapenos. You know, cut these up, set these around. Man, I'm telling you. All right, let's see. Let's go with the, uh, I think this is the brisket and green chili right here, I believe. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. That was excellent. I think this is the brisket and jalapeno. Hmm. Of course, you can, uh, you know, have some cheese dip to dip these in. You can dip these in marinara sauce. No dip. However you want to serve them. They're going to be delicious. Uh, let's see. Uh. This one here is just green chili and cheese. <laughs> mm, mm. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And this one, you know, sometimes you buy pizza and it has pepperoni and cheese inside. I added some marinara sauce just to have it in there. Mmm. All of them. Excellent. I got to tell you, uh, you know, you could go 425 probably for 10 to 10 to 13 minutes. I was at 400. They browned up nice. I went, ended up going, I think it was 16 to 17 minutes. Uh, I did keep an eye on them, you know, and uh, sometimes you just don't get them sealed all the way. And when you're using cream cheese, cream cheese likes to expand, which, you know, kind of makes it explode. I think there's one back there that's got a little explosion, but uh, I got to tell you, Stuffed, stuffed pizza crust without the rest of the pizza. <laughs> All right, give these a try. I think you'll like them. Game day's coming, any game day, or if you got people coming over, you know, just make these for an appetizer. Okay, today we're going right. to use some uh, fresh uh, thawed <laughs> frozen roasted green chilies. I'm going to get these cleaned up and uh, we'll get these sliced up. We'll be right, right back. So we're not using the jarred kind today. We're using the fresh ones. I already uh, took the skin off, took most of the seeds off. And for uh, today's uh, stuffed pizza crust uh, appetizers, I'm just going to cut these in strips. I'm going to use some uh, leftover brisket. Yes, leftover brisket. And for those of you that say, oh, we never have leftover brisket. Well, let me just tell you, you're not making enough of it or you've invited too many people over. <laughs> And I'm just going to cut this up. I could probably just shred it because it would shred nice, but I'm just going to cut this in some chunks. And then I'm going to use some um, pickled jalapenos. I'm going to use some uh, mozzarella parmesan pizza cheese. We're going to do some with pepperonis. And next we're going to blend our uh, cream cheese with the pizza cheese. So, you know, the cream cheese is eight ounces, so we're going to do... Uh, Probably gonna be too much, but that's all right. I will find other stuff to make with it. So eight ounces of cream cheese. And then this uh, bag of pizza cheese just happens to be eight ounces. <laughs> so we're gonna mix those two together. There it is, yeah. I had to get my hands in there and uh, uh, kind of mush it all together, get it mixed really well. So there's okay, the cheese. So now I'm gonna just lay down a little bit of flour don't need a whole lot. I just don't want my pizza dough to stick. And uh, no, I didn't make the dough. I bought this uh, can of great value pizza crust. Get this thing open. This thing had a big hole in it. All right, so I guess I'll just pinch that together. And believe it or not, I don't even have a rolling pin in this house. I guess I didn't think I'd need one. <laughs> Let me see what I can find. All right, so, you know, I mean, a glass is probably the closest thing I'm going to find. So I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of flour on top and see if I can't get this uh, rolled out a little more. I think that'll work. I'm thinking that'll work. Okay, so basically, uh, pizza crust, 
stuffed pizza crust appetizers. Yeah, let's just do the brisket one. I think I could probably, I can probably do two. And uh, I'm just gonna get our brisket Grab in. Grab a little, little handful of cheese and I'm gonna rub it between my hands and make like a little log. Okay, and I'm gonna stuff that right in there with the brisket. And that would probably be just fine. But you know what? I love brisket and green chili, so. <laughs> you got it. I'm throwing a piece of green chili in there. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this up and over. Get in there, brisket. Okay. And over a little bit. Make like a tube, like a pizza crust. And I'm going to cut it off. Okay. And there you go. I am going to pinch the ends together. Hopefully keep the uh, cheese from all coming out. Roll it a little bit like that. Okay. And there is our stuffed brisket pizza crust. All right. So, you know, sometimes when you buy a pizza, you can get a pepperoni stuffed pizza crust. So we're going to go with that. Gonna have plenty of pepperoni. Okay. Actually, gonna put a little bit of uh, marinara sauce inside. Hopefully, that works without getting it too ooey and gooey. Yes, ooey gooey, technical term. Okay, gonna get some cheese. Gonna roll it up between my hands. And it breaks apart, but that's okay. Okay, so yeah, when you're rolling the cheese between your hands, there's going to be a lot of uh, hand washing. Okay, so again, we're just going to roll this over far enough so the dough is touching a little bit. Cut it. Roll it some more, kind of push it down. I'm going to crimp the edges. You know, I have to have green chili. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, let's put a few pieces in there because green chili is so, so good. You know, in New Mexico, instead of salt, we use green chili. Okay, some more cheese. Get that rolled up. Yeah, had to wash my hands. These are going to be pretty cheesy. Okay, get that wrapped all the way around. Get my brisket in there. This one's going to have jalapenos in it. Lots of jalapenos. Pickled jalapenos. They're not too hot. They're very good. Okay. Piece of cheese. Piece of cheese. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get this rolled up. Total failure. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if we can stretch that around or not. There's a will, there's a way though, right? So I ended up cutting them in half because, you know, they were long. These are pizza crusts. So if you have a slice of pizza, that's about the right size for a stuffed crust pizza snack, right? right. So I transferred them onto this aluminum uh, foil baking tray and that's what they're going to cook on. So today we're doing it in the uh, Rectech Bullseye. That thing is up to 400 degrees right now. Let's get these in. Okay, these will take anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 minutes. That thing is smoking on. We'll check them in about 5 to 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes. We're still at 400 degrees on this Rectech. Yeah, those look pretty good. Puffing up a little bit. I think I'm going to go about three, three to four more minutes. All right, we are like, I don't know, 16 to 17 minutes in. That's looking good. Check that out. All right. All right, there we go. Stuffed pizza crust. <laughs> uh, snacks, hors d'oeuvres, whatever you want. Okay, let's cut into one. I think these over here are the uh, brisket and green chili. Which I'll go ahead and cut into one. Super soft. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Looks like uh, no problem about that being cooked all the way through, huh? Thanks a lot for watching this, and I hope you have a great day.